So yeah, we moved here almost three years ago, and um, it's taking a little longer. It turns out like certain updates and things where I had all these ideas like, oh, we'll build like an Ewok village, and I'll rip all these walls down, and I'll build all these new walls, and like there's all these closets I want to like turn into secret passages and stuff, and like stuff like that just kind of takes a while. Here, I'll be right back. Uh, I'm Ian Hubert. Do uh, filmmaking, visual effects, and kind of weird stuff. Hi. Yeah, most all of this stuff is just camera projected. Model a moth in a wings down position. Moths are pure chaos, so don't stress too much. Someday this tree will collapse and kill us all. So we, we moved out of Seattle because Seattle is very very crowded, and we're like, what if we had some space to build? build some stuff and kind of do, make a, make a tiny little, little zone of kind of creative filmmaking. And uh, it's worked, it's worked pretty good. Yeah, it's been, it's been fun. But yeah, I don't know if I ever even thought about like, like filmmaking or whatever as, as a job. It just kind of like started happening and then over time it's like, oh, well I'll keep I'll just keep kind of doing doing this, um, and now it's kind of it's weird to imagine doing doing anything but that a little bit. Yeah, this is uh, this is two seven nine. Just because sometimes you still need it. These are some of the uh, the beta releases for uh, for two point eight. This is I think I started using Blender back in like two thousand four, two thousand three. I don't know. There was a, there was a neighbor kid who who used it, and he showed me some of Colin Levy's stuff, who is, uh, of course, the voice of the house in uh, the famous house in Caleb. And with this, I light the match. <laughs> Whoosh! Oh, it burns! Burn, house, no, burn! I just wanted one more day with you, Caleb! The limitations of the time, like in the 90s, yeah. like poly count was, like every, every scene I modeled, I'd model it up to the point where my computer couldn't like chug anymore, where it was just like, it became impossible to work in. And so I developed a very low poly workflow. Prospect was really, really cool. That was like, that was a, a year and a half to two years. That was, that's the coolest project I think I've gotten to work on just because like they did so much practical. Where did the lazy tutorials come from? The lazy, well they, that was because I was being lazy making the tutorials. You want to animate humanity itself? Yeah, okay. I actually just want people to be able to kind of do new stuff. Like I like it when people can watch a thing and at the end of a minute they're like, oh I feel like I can kind of do that thing you can progress beyond that. Like it's a starting point where you're like, hey, I did, I did the thing. And then it's like, you can use those same tools and just try harder. What I'm really excited about is like a new way of filmmaking. I hadn't really realized how much of my workflow was based around just ever avoiding having to do legit character animation. Put the suit on, you put in your height into the software, you, you name it, you get to name it, whatever you want. I, I named it Ian, cause that's my name. Like there's this moment as like, I'm, I'm getting it set up and suddenly I look over on the monitor and I see me setting it up. This is the most cyberpunk thing I've ever done in my entire life. I want to give him a little computer. I'd be working on a scene, just throw on the suit and just animate, animate all the characters. For that pit stop shot, I could have animated that shot and spent, you know, like a week on just trying to do that two seconds and it still wouldn't have looked as good. When the guy on the, on the missile kind of claps his hands, there's this they have a delay and his shoulders react and he kind of wipes his hands on his pants and then he like kind of leans in and like settles down in a way that like you would have to be in so intentional and, and add so many keyframes on every single frame to all the, the location rotation of all these different joints in a way that's like just kind of prohibitive. And so just like we, we recorded all those in like 15 minutes. It's starting to be able to think in that way of like, all right, let's just assume I can animate characters now or just animate things with kind of a human, a humanness. That's, that's ridiculous. Um, so my brain's just gonna, yeah, it's able to actually explore those, those ideas now of like, all right, what if you could just animate characters and they looked kind of real? Oh.